I'm Sydney Bordignon. I'm here at the London Food Bank to find out how they get their resources for those in need. The London Food Bank serviced approximately 21,000 individuals at least once this year so far. That is a 2% increase from 2017 where only about 20,000 individuals access the food bank. Co-executive director of the London Food Bank, Jane Roy, explains how they get resources to keep up with the high demand. In terms of getting better resources, it's everything from raising money to purchase things. So for instance, the milk and eggs that we have, we purchase. That's, some of it comes through uh, Ontario program with the um, Ontario Association of Food Banks. But we buy enough milk to make sure everybody has milk. We buy enough eggs to make sure everybody has eggs. But we're also working on getting, for instance, fresh some of the fresh produce or meats or things that the grocery stores can't sell. Um, so right now we're picking up from, I believe, about 10 different grocery stores. Um, so there's 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 food drives that people will hold, and then there's food from corporations. And we try to get as much as we can of both. Roy explains that the requirement to make someone eligible to use the food bank is need. There is no means test that clients have to take to prove their monetary status. But what exactly is driving people to use the food bank? You know, why do people come to the food bank? Uh, they come for lots of different reasons. Oftentimes, um, you know, they've had a job and it's been a part-time job and they that job is now finished, it's been terminated, and, you know, they haven't quite found another one. Um, it could be that they're on ODSP or Ontario Works and the money's just not quite enough to stretch through the whole, the whole month. So we tend to find the third week of the month incredibly busy. Um, you know, it's a single mom trying to feed their kids or trying to send their kids back to school. It's just, there's, for every reason that you can think of, that's why, that's why people come to the food bank. You know, a board member said it best, if you want to know what a food bank client looks like, go look in a mirror. They're basically just like you and I. Eight years ago, it was rare to see fresh food being offered at the food bank. Now, with new programs that have been implemented, this has been made possible. Mike Bluxham, who is the coordinator for the program Community Harvest, explains just how it works. The uh, Community Harvest program was an initiative that was launched as a pilot in 2010 uh, with uh, the Ontario Association of Food Banks and a few select food banks throughout the province, and London was one of them. And it was launched to help get farmers product that was otherwise being tilled under or sent to waste uh, be recovered for the use by people uh, who use the food bank. It is clear that the London Food Bank is making the effort to ensure that not only is their food available, but that the food that they are giving to clients is healthy and sustainable. For more information on how to become a volunteer or donate, visit londonfoodbank.ca. For XFM News, I'm Sydney Bordignac.